Texas and the White House are locked in a bitter standoff on the border. The administration demanding Texas reopen a border park to federal agents after the drowning deaths of three migrants. The White House blames Texas for those deaths, saying the state blocked agents from rescuing the women, no, excuse me, the woman and her two children. But a new DOJ court filing has disproved that narrative, revealing the migrants were already dead when the feds requested access. Meanwhile, Texas is holding firm and refusing to let the feds back in. They don't tell us where they're sending people, where people are coming across. They don't tell us about criminal activity along the border. They don't tell us who they're letting in, whether it's terrorists or people that have committed crimes. They don't tell us where people are from. We have the obligation to control public lands in Texas. We're a sovereign state, and we plan on defending our borders. More on this with Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. But first, let's go to Matt Finn. He's in Eagle Pass with the latest. Hi, Matt. Good morning, Dana. Yesterday was the deadline the federal government gave to Texas to reopen this park back to Border Patrol agents. As it stands this morning, we have not seen Texas allow the federal government back into this park. Everybody knew that Greg Abbott and Joe Biden has been going back and forth, back and forth. Joe Biden won't open borders. Greg Abbott don't. However, the truckers have spoken. The truckers have came together and literally did a convoy or doing a convoy where they blocking off entry from Mexico to Texas, utilizing their trucks. Basically, that means that the citizens have took things in their own hand, basically saying that we will protect our borders. Joe Biden has lost this battle right here with 25 other states participating and sending in needs and military aid and anything that Texas governor needs to close the borders. It's going down in Texas right now. Greg Abbott for president. Salute.